from rags to riches, Ruby's journey to become a real estate magnet. Today, the atmosphere in the busy business center of downtown was full of excitement and joy, bustling with people. It was for something that would help many people's futures. Surrounded by tall skyscrapers, there was a newly renovated building that stood out. Its modern and sleek front had Ruby Simon's Management Lab written on it. The building had stood vacant after corporations housed in it withdrew during COVID-19. So Ruby, having risen from humble beginnings to become a real estate magnate, decided against leasing the property for profit. Instead, she saw a greater purpose, donating it to her local university to establish a state-of-the-art laboratory complex leading to a new hope for women to become leaders. Esteemed guests from various sectors, alongside excited students and faculty, filled the inauguration venue. The building gleamed under the morning sun, its architecture blending the promise of innovation with sustainable design. As the ceremony began, Ruby stood before the assembled crowd her presence commanding yet marked with genuine warmth. She spoke passionately. Today, we're not just opening a lab, Ruby proclaimed. Her voice resonant with conviction. We are launching a beacon of innovation and opportunity, a place where young minds will meet the challenges of tomorrow with the tools and knowledge that this facility will provide. She then announced the establishment of the Ruby Simons Future Leaders Scholarship aimed at supporting young students. The crowd bursted in applause, moved by her commitment to giving back to a community that had once given her so much. After the ceremony, as guests toured the new lab, admiring its advanced facilities and collaborative spaces, Ruby took a quiet moment silently observing from a distance to reflect on the lab's significance. This was more than a donation. It was a fulfillment of a promise she had made to herself years ago to succeed not just in business, but in making a meaningful impact on the world. Ruby notices a young woman coming towards her. Looking at the girl, Ruby's thoughts go into her childhood. She is reminded of the small town where Ruby dreamed of something bigger than the constrained life her circumstances offered. Born into a family struggling to make ends meet, Ruby learned the value of hard work and determination from an early age. Her parents, though loving and supportive, were often preoccupied with the daily grind, leaving Ruby to navigate her early life's complexities largely on her own. As a young girl, Ruby faced numerous challenges that tested her resolve. In school, she was an average student, often overlooked by her teachers and peers. She dreamed of a good career, but she lacked the resources and guidance to know where to start. The turning point came during a particularly low period in her teenage years, when a close friend voiced a harsh prediction, you're not cut out for success, Ruby. You're going to end up just like everyone else around here and that is nowhere. This statement ignited a fire within Ruby. It was the moment she decided not to let her story be written by someone else's expectations. She resolved to prove that her future would not be dictated by her past. Motivated by the need to forge her own path, Ruby began looking for opportunities, any opportunity that could act as a stepping stone to a better life. She took on various odd jobs after school, from waiting tables at a local diner to helping out at a nearby real estate office. It was here that Ruby first glimpsed the potential of a career in real estate. The industry fascinated her not just the transaction of properties, 
but the possibility of creating a tangible impact on people's lives by helping them find their perfect home. Despite the long hours and the juggling act between work and school, Ruby found herself drawn to the dynamism and the satisfying sense of achievement that came with every small success in real estate. She started spending more time learning about the industry, reading every piece of literature she could find, and using her earnings to pay for a real estate course. Ruby absorbed everything from the legal aspects of real estate transactions to the nuances of client negotiations. She was not just attending classes. She was immersing herself in a new world, a world where she saw potential not only for financial success, but also for personal fulfillment. Ruby's entry into the professional world of real estate was not without its hurdles. She started as an intern at a local agency, where she quickly learned that theoretical knowledge was only the beginning. The real lessons came from on-the-ground experience, dealing with difficult clients, understanding their needs, managing expectations, and sometimes losing deals in heartbreaking ways. Each failure, however, was a lesson learned. Ruby kept meticulous notes on every encounter, determined to learn from each experience. Ruby's breakthrough came when she met a seasoned real estate broker, Mrs. Thompson, who recognized her determination and took her under her wing. Mrs. Thompson was not just a mentor, but an advocate who introduced Ruby to the finer tactics of the trade. Under her guidance, Ruby learned how to leverage market trends, how to network effectively, and how to use her innate empathy to connect with clients on a deeper level. Ruby's reputation began to grow. From selling small apartments, she moved on to larger, more lucrative deals. Her unique approach, always putting her clients' needs first, being brutally honest about potential drawbacks, and creatively solving any issue made her a favorite among home buyers. By this time, Ruby had not only established herself in the real estate community, but had also started earning a significant income. Her early experiences of poverty now fueled her drive, not just to secure her own future, but to ensure she could give back to her community and help her parents live a more comfortable life. Ruby was brought back from her thoughts by the words that the girl spoke. Miss Simons, I just wanted to congratulate you on this incredible lab, the young woman said, her voice brimming with enthusiasm. It's truly inspiring to see such an investment in students' future here. Ruby, always keen to engage with aspiring students, could see a glimpse of her younger self in the girl. She smiled warmly and asked, Thank you so much. Where do you study currently? I actually just graduated, the young woman replied, her excitement undiminished. And seeing this lab makes me even more excited about the possibilities ahead. I've always wanted to delve deeper into my field, and this place seems like it could open so many doors. Ruby's eyes sparkled with a mix of pride. It was moments like these that affirmed her decision to create the lab. You know, we're offering scholarships for dedicated students like you to continue their research and studies right here in this lab. How about you apply? I'd love to see what you could achieve with the resources we have. The young woman was momentarily speechless, overwhelmed by the generosity of the offer. That would be incredible, Miss Simons. Thank you so much. With a final thank you and a promise to apply for the scholarship, the young woman left the conversation with a renewed sense of purpose and excitement for her future. Ruby watched her go, feeling a profound sense of accomplishment and optimism, knowing her lab would indeed inspire and empower many young minds like hers. If you liked Ruby's inspiring story, then please check out other stories in this series. And don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe for more such stories.